Hello again, this is attorney Mark Bruner and thank you so much for joining me again on Talking Texas Law. Today we're going to talk about something that happens pretty much all day every day in almost every criminal court throughout Texas and throughout America. And that is urine analysis testing, UA testing for marijuana. Kind of an odd topic, but it's very important. It does happen a lot. You know, as either proof of bond compliance or probation compliance or as a condition of a plea bargain or maybe simply because the defendant was acting strangely in court. Drug screening of defendants via a urine analysis or UA test is a well-established part of today's criminal justice system. It happens a lot. It's important to know about it and learn about it. With that in mind, let's look at some important facts to consider regarding UA testing and the use of marijuana. You know, many illegal drugs are what's known as water-soluble, meaning they dissolve in water. What this means is that for your body, these drugs, these drugs arrive, they do their thing, and they rapidly get excreted out of your body through the natural elimination process of going to the bathroom. Although there will be traces of that drug in your system, your body isn't storing or holding on to that drug anywhere inside your body. So the traces will be hard to detect in as few as even a few days, generally. Of course, there are some variables, uh, such as dosage size and what the exact drug is it's being checked for. But again, generally speaking, a simple UA will not detect the presence of many illegal drugs if the user consumed them, let's say, maybe a week prior. Well, for marijuana, it's extremely different. The active ingredient in marijuana is known as tetrahydrocannabinol, THC is the shortcut that we use to describe it. And THC is extremely fat soluble. Once consumed, fat soluble substances, legal or otherwise, are dissolved and stored in the body's fatty tissues and liver. The body wants to hold on to these fat-soluble substances. So unlike those water-soluble drugs, fat-soluble drugs leave the body very slowly. You know, the slower time exiting the body means generally that there's a much longer period of detection that a UA test or some other type of test can detect the, the use of those drugs. As such, a UA can detect the usage of marijuana anywhere from three to six weeks prior to testing. So a large window. We're talking about a couple of days for many drugs in the UA to three to six weeks for marijuana. You know, it's important to note that UA testing for marijuana, they're not checking for THC itself, rather a substance called 9-carboxy-THC. And this substance, 9-carboxy-THC, is created by the body in reaction to exposure to THC. And, and that substance, 9-carboxy-THC, stays in the body longer than even the THC itself. Again, the high is gone, but the evidence lingers on. You know, the rate that 9-carboxy-THC and THC itself is eliminated from the body Again, it's highly variable from person to person. Someone may test clean after, let's say, a month, while somebody else may show dirty four, five, six weeks out. It really just depends. You know, some of those variables can be that can increase or decrease that detection time could be, you know, the amount of marijuana consumed, how frequently someone consumes marijuana, the potency of it what the method of ingestion was, was it smoked, was it, was it ingested through edibles, etc. And also just the general variances that people have from person to person. Someone may have a faster metabolism than somebody else. Somebody may have less body fat than somebody else. All these are variables that can increase or decrease that window of time that marijuana can be found through a urinalysis. Now again, all this is not intended to give you the inside scoop on how to beat a urine analysis for marijuana. Rather, I hope that learning about the testing process and the physiological effects of marijuana on your body, how your body reacts to marijuana, is going to give you a better understanding of the significant risks that you undergo if you are a criminal defendant 
and you choose to consume marijuana, again, a significant risk. Fair or not, when you are a criminal defendant in Texas or other places, you know, Big Brother is watching you. So it's best to be wise about what you consume and how you consume it and to play it safe. Again, this is attorney Mark Bruner. Uh, as always, the disclaimer is that this is offered as an informational and educational video. This is not intended as giving legal advice. This is not a legal consultation, and unless you are already a contracted client of mine, I'm not your lawyer. Again, thank you so much for joining me on Talking Texas Law. This is attorney Mark Bruner, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.